What's going on people? My name is Jet. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fake movement in your still images, your still shots, and uh, overall just how to add a little bit of movement, a little bit of life to your otherwise still shots, and basically just how you can bring a little bit of life to, I'm going to say it again, some still shots. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, go ahead and open up Premiere Pro, and once you've actually gotten into Premiere Pro, Go ahead and throw your still clips onto the timeline. Now, of course, right here is the actual finished product, the final result type of thing right here. These are all completely still shots that I shot down by the river, pretty close to my office, all on a tripod. As you can see, I've just kind of amplified them a little bit, tried to hype them up a bit, and overall, this would be a still boring shot. You couldn't really leave it on screen for too long. However, these, just with the addition of a little bit of keyframe animation, have kind of brought them to life a little bit more, and overall, it's much more pleasing to watch. You know, this is like a, uh, over 30 seconds, like a 35 second sequence. Obviously, you'll be bored to death after the first like five seconds if each and every one of these was just a still shot of me looking around or some other stuff. I brought some random stuff out to, to, to film. Look, I got the cup of soups because I, I just thought that would be a funny thing and we kind of stand out against the background I was filming on, which was just kind of this little underpass type of area. But Hey, overall, I've got the clips over here um, that are basically ready to do some stuff to. I shot these in S-Log, so um, uh, what's called excuse the excuse the, the color correction right there, but I'm just going to leave that as an overlay layer so these look pretty decent throughout the course of this tutorial. But without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so first off, once you've actually got your clips right here, go ahead and import them into your timeline. And the way you're actually going to go about doing this, right, is by changing the sequence size of your project that you're working with. So hold tight, this is gonna look a little unprofessional to you. I am editing now in a 720p project. I went out there and the actual way I would encourage you guys to do this is to record in 4K and then bring your sequence down to 1080p. However, I, I went out there and I recorded in 1080p and not 4K when, I'm, when I got these clips. So you're obviously just gonna drop the project size to half of whatever your resolution is. Obviously, I would never normally edit in 1080 uh, in 720p though. So, honestly, if you're not doing this in 4K and you're happy with 720p, that's dope. I'm going to be doing the example in 720p. Um, but normally, I would do this in 4K, bringing it down to a 1080p project file. But anyways, here are my clips. So, first off, what I would actually do when I'm animating is usually um, go to the end, um, the 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 last. The last frame, but you can do this either way. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do this the opposite way by starting at the first frame and working my way kind of chronologically through it because I just feel as though that'll be less confusing for, for more people. Um, but first off, you want to go to the first frame that you want to start on. So for me, I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring this all the way over to the corner over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and make boom. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the keyframes for the position and the scale. Then I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to want to go pretty close to the end, right about here, and just go ahead and up that to, let's say, let's say 93. Boom, 93, and we can also adjust this to bring this up, and let's end this where I'm kind of looking up. So now if we go ahead and play this, just like that, just by adding a little bit of movement, that still shot has turned into a much more um, visually pleasing visually pleasing shot. Now what I want to move on right is just, ju just to incorporating some rotation as well. So this clip right here, obviously no rotation. This, as you can see over here, starts over here and actually rotates on to the screen. And we've also got this one at the end, which I think is a nicer rotate, the cup of soup. Um, I am just going to be working through all these, so we will get to that. But obviously, what you want to do is go ahead and start on the, um, the frame that you're actually going to um, going to start on, which is actually going to be over here. Obviously, you have to be careful of the of the lines you see, right? Um, so go ahead and fit your image in as best you can. Obviously, for me, it, I think a 12 could be the most I can do. Yeah, it looks like it is. So we're going to have that starting here. And the scale, the scale, we're going to want it to start working its way out. So we will position the scale at... And probably, yeah, probably 100, obviously. Um, and also the position a little bit, just in case. You just want to have all those keyframes just in case. Then we come pretty close to the end. And 
Go ahead and pop the, the, the rotation on zero. Go ahead and bring this over a little bit and up a little bit. And then we're gonna bring this out to 80. Boom. So now we'll just go ahead and make this fit or I might do 75 to make this. Oh, wow, my bad, 85 to make this not as a gradual, not super, super animated, but hold on. Now, if we go ahead and just ooh, grab these and just throw them straight at the end. Did I do that on this one? No, I didn't even do that on that one, but that still looked okay. Anyways, now if we give it a play, this is nicely rotating and also scaling outwards. And that obviously is two animated clips right there, which were pretty boring and now definitely less boring. Okay, moving just swiftly onwards, just gonna work through all of these clips. This right here is a cool one because there's actually movement of the leaves and the, uh, the cup of soup box a little bit already. So this added with a little bit of animated movement inwards and across the screen is gonna look very, very cool. In fact, I, um, I wanna start this one over here from the bottom corner again. Boom, right down here and do, do, do. I'm gonna work this in from 80 all the way to 100. And we just wanna bring this as far as we can down here. Do, do, do. Cool. And now I'm gonna go ahead and scale that and boom. Then we go pretty close to the end and I'm gonna pop that on 100 and pull this down here and across a little bit and up. Boom. Now, let's go ahead and drag these to the very end. Boom, and just have a look what this is looking like. And just like that, we've got the image um, moving there, image moving right here, kind of at the beginning. You see when that's shaking from the wind. And that's looking very cool, honestly. And we can actually bring this one out in the next clip. So if we go cut to the next clip, this is obviously the next clip. Me stood there underneath the underpass. What we can actually do is go ahead and have this, this is already on 100 actually. We can just pop this way up there in the top. Let's try to pop this way up there in the top and have me come down. So if we scale that and position it, come damn near to the end. Go ahead and bring this one out to 80. And you see that's obviously cut off. We gotta bring me down a little bit so you can kind of see my feet right there and obviously bring this across. And now if we give that a play, boom, a simple keyframe like that. It's coming down from the bridge and I'm crossing my arms and then you can see me standing there. And um, oh, obviously we need to bring these to the end. Um, if you're wondering, by the way, the reason I'm not just jumping to the end, oh, this already has, this has <laughs> keyframes on it already. Let me just go ahead and undo all that. God damn it. Boom, undo, undo. Yeah, cool. Um, but the reason I'm not skipping straight to the end on these things to do a keyframe is because that just cuts to the, the final frame, which is usually the next clip. Um, but here we go. Let's have a look what I did with this one. So it really is coming out a lot. So the way I did this was rotate quite a bit over here. Go ahead and that is also coming out right there. So I'm gonna scale that, scale the rotation, scale the position, cut damn near to the end and have this scale on 85 and also the rotation has to have come here. Boom. Now if we go ahead and throw these at the end, we didn't even have to change the position or anything. That's looking pretty nice. However, the scale needs to be on 70, man. Um, oh, 80 actually, my bad. So it's come out 20%. Um, let's see, oh, that's a little bit too much. Let's bring these here. Bring he it, it honestly is a little bit of tweaking and shit like that. You just have to keep tweaking it until you've got a decent motion that you're happy with. But boom, I'm gonna throw those at the end, give this a play and boom, just like that. In fact, if I go ahead and just in and out this situation that we just created right here, if we just render the in and outs of this, this is gonna take a second and then we'll just watch this sequence back real quick. And this should be a nice still sequence in its origin, but then obviously now it's at the point where we've been able to add some nice motion to the whole project and it's definitely working out pretty well. Nicer than it was as, at, at first, obviously, because they were all still images. Boom, and there we are. Obviously, this is a nice little sequence. I think it's like a 35 second sequence, something like that. Quite nice, quite nice. Obviously, all these are extremely boring, dumb shots. The, just the camera bag or the cup of soup or <laughs> whatever it is, pretty boring shots. 
and you can really amp these up with just a little bit of motion. And also I've thrown some color correction on there pretty heavily as well. And uh, this shot, you can see is a little bit grainy because I had to, uh, I had to up the, um, the whites and stuff like that because the goddamn bridge was pretty dark underneath there. But boom, that is a video wrapped up. Thank you for watching the video, guys. If you enjoyed and learned something, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Have a nice day and goodbye.